Hi everyone, this is Tommy Marshall and welcome to the screencast. You probably already read the description of what we'll be covering, but just in case you didn't, I'll be showing you how to make your site more secure by enabling HTTPS using Cloudflare and how to set up and use a custom domain for your uploaded assets that live on Amazon S3. We'll be using Craft for our CMS, but the steps could be applied pretty much to any CMS that you're using. And the first thing we'll do is Google Amazon S3 because I never remember the homepage. Then we'll click on try Amazon S3 for free in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, I already put in my contact and payment information up at the top. From here, all we have to do is select a plan. Uh, so we'll actually just use basic. And Amazon gives us this uh, nice little welcome screen and we don't really care about it. We just want to sign directly into the console. So we'll click on that button. So here's a list of all the services that Amazon provides, but we're just interested in S3. So we'll click on that. So the first thing Amazon wants us to do is create a bucket and to actually upload assets to that bucket, we're going to use Craft CMS. And as you can see, this is just a base install of Craft living at this IP address, which was provisioned using Laravel's Forge and uh, just with a few modifications to uh, this Craft base install. Next, we'll head over to Namecheap and we want this domain name to resolve to the IP address of our site. And real quick, I'll just show you what the name servers look like here. Scroll to the bottom. And right now they're just set to the Namecheap default, which is just uh, Namecheap's parked uh, page. We set this to custom. If this was hosted at DigitalOcean, we could do ns1.digitalocean.com if I could spell it. But for now, we're actually just gonna keep these to the default. Um, and we'll come back here later when we set up some other Cloudflare stuff. And when this is done loading, cool. We'll go ahead and move on to Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is a super cool service. It's a CDN, it's a security and analytics, and provides a really cool way of optimizing uh, the workload for your server. So we'll go ahead and uh, make our way over to the dashboard. As you can see, I've already created an account, it's a free account logged in, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a site. We're going to use craftcdndemo.com, which I was showing you at Namecheap. And this process takes a while. This is getting the zone file. And through the magic of video editing, it's already done, as you can see. And uh, we'll click Continue Setup. And we'll scroll down, and you can see we have uh, this IP address, which right now points to nothing. Uh, so we'll actually go ahead and grab the IP address uh, of our server, which is uh, where Craft is installed. And we'll go ahead and update the uh, A record to that click away and automatically saves which is kind of nice and let's go ahead and update the www uh, subdomain as well to point to craftcdndemo.com click away and yeah that looks good cool so we'll click continue on the bottom and immediately they want you to uh, sign up for the business plan but we only need the free plan for this uh, and we'll be getting the ssl which is super cool and i uh, really quick just to go over the Plans, there are multiple 20, 200 bucks enterprise, uh, but we really just need the free plan. So the next thing, do you remember we were in Namecheap? We had the name servers. Uh, now they want us to update them to point to there. So we'll go ahead back to Namecheap. Go down here, click edit. Scroll down, click custom, and paste these two in here, Bella and Darwin. And we'll click save changes. Cool, so now that DNS settings were updated, we can go ahead and check to make sure that craftcdndemo.com does resolve to that IP address. And it looks like it does, cool. So now we'll head back to Amazon S3 and create a bucket. And this bucket name is going to be the URL that I want the files uh, accessed at. Awesome. Now that we have created that, we'll go to craft and we'll log into the admin. So we'll go ahead and create a new asset source, which will enable us to actually upload and pull down stuff from our bucket. And we'll just name it general. And the type of sources is going to be is not local folder. It's going to be Amazon S3. As you can see immediately, it wants us to get an access key ID. So we'll head back to Amazon, click on security credentials up here, and we'll click access keys. And we're going to create a new one. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show these, and don't worry, um, I'm going to disable these right after this demo. Copy and paste the access key here. Paste and hit refresh, and our bucket shows up. So that's a pretty cool feature of Craft, and we'll throw it in the subfolder called General. And as you can see, our bucket gets appended to the end of this uh, Amazon URL. We'll cache this for seven days, and the settings were saved. So from here, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and test to make sure that we can actually upload stuff to our bucket. So let's go to entries, let's go to the home page, and I added this image field right here just for the home page for this demo. Uh, let's go ahead and use this image for an example. Hit select, hit save, and open up this page in a new tab. And as you can see, the URL gets uh, just added as a, as a string right there. But if we copy and paste that into a new tab, we can see, yes, it did indeed get uploaded to Amazon. Now we want to get rid of this super long Amazon URL. So to do that, we're actually going to grab our bucket name and prepend it to that URL. And let's go ahead and cut that. Let's go back to Cloudflare. And we're going to set up files, which is the uh, subdomain, which we're using for a bucket. We set up a C name, which routes directly to that Amazon URL. And then right now it's actually not routing to it. We have to go ahead and toggle the status right here on the right. And now everything is uh, that gets accessed at files.craftcdan.com is indeed being forwarded through Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and copy that Amazon URL, that long one again, paste it over here. And let's just make sure that it works HTTPS, and it does. It is a secure connection. And we'll remove the Amazon URL, and look at that. It just works. So Cloudflare is routing the subdomain over to Amazon and uh, making that URL actually work. But now I have to go back into Craft and uh, update the path so it actually outputs this when we every time the images are used. We copy and pasted that, hit Save, go back to the home page, refresh, and look at that, so the URL is updated. We copy and paste that just to confirm it is indeed working, and it is. Now one thing you probably noticed was the IP address was being used uh, by Craft whenever I looked at the demo. So we'll go to the general settings and update the set URL to actually be HTTPS CraftCDNDemo.com. And that's because Cloudflare is giving us that uh, secure certificate. So now when we visit the site, of course that works, we knew that, but now when we add HTTPS colon slash slash, Yes, of course, it works. Another thing you probably notice is that the site is still accessible uh, without a secure connection. So what we're going to actually have to do is set up a new page rule to automatically forward all requests through that secure connection. So we'll set up the pattern like so. We'll just grab the URL, go back to the page rule, uh, and basically this is saying every time a URL matches this, go ahead and apply these rules below. And right now we just want to always use HTTPS. Hit add rule. And now let's go back to our site. Hit refresh. And you can see we got forwarded to HTTPS. In case you didn't see it, let me do it again. And again, we got forwarded. So just to confirm a new window, yep, we are indeed being forwarded to the secure connection.